Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video Truder, and welcome back to Erratus, Lord of the Dead. Where last time, everything went wrong and everybody died. But that's fine, because I've got a backup plan. I've still got a zombie, and on top of that, I've got a skeleton back in my monster hospital who hasn't actually healed up at all because I didn't win the last fight. So, um, how many parts spare do I have? Not many. Right, so, um, let's just actually get ourselves a new team out right now. Can't actually have another Dark Knight. That's actually impossible. Good, good. Can get myself a new Bride. That's good at the bare minimum. Yeah, I think what we need to do is get a new Bride and a new Lich. All right, that's what we can do. And I think I've got just about enough good stuff to make that work. Because, yeah, their components are pretty mutually exclusive. Oh, this is pretty critical right here. The Bride of Eratus gets plus three luck off improved blood. So you definitely want massively improved blood for her because her getting criticals is absolutely, well, critical. And one Lich with double bonus dread. It'll have to flip it do. I've literally never used this character before, but um, we're just going to have to hope he does the job. And I do have that lovely Skull Torch, plus 45% Wrath immediately. That's pretty good. Or... All enemies minus 15 accuracy until the end of combat. Yeah, smoke bomb. Bring in the smoke bomb. That's what I want. Right, last roll of the dice here. This is literally all I've got. Straight back over to the elite squad. Where is it the same guys again? Just like fully... No! Okay, so that's nice. It's persistent. So as a result of that, yeah, I'm back and I've brought some flipping friends, you stupid two hit point bastards. And there we go. So, we did manage to win. That's nice. And also, I've got myself a giant pile of stuff. Okay, in retrospect, I shouldn't have used the one-use-only artifact. But I didn't think he was still going to be weak. Right, so it's persistent. Gotcha. Oh, but this is nice. Persistent upgrade here. Smoking bands. Every time I use a spell, random 10 stress damage to somebody. Now that, that's really damn good, because I use a really cheap fire spell all the flipping time. Okay, time for a really, really important thing here. Now I've actually got a new skill point, and that is a transplantation. This lets you actually swap out existing parts for new and improved ones. Absolutely flipping critical, that one. Especially now that, uh, yeah, I don't have that many flipping parts. But what I do have is just enough to make a new Dark Knight. Right, bloody hell, that's a relief. Right, plus two luck, plus three accuracy, plus two accuracy. Right, at least he's going to be hitting a fair bit. That's all absolutely fine. So, uh, get you crafted, my good man. And you, I've got a special plan for. Because you may notice I picked up a brain. Yes, brains are basically a way of skipping someone forward a bit. So... Uh, if your entire team, like, I don't know, dies in some form of tragic bus accident or something that totally wasn't my fault, yes, you can get new guys up to speed nice and fast. And this Dark Knight is now level 3. Beautiful. Ah, yes, and as for my new support character, yes, Command Undead, plus 12 attack, plus 12 dread. How about plus 20 attack? Yeah, plus 20 attack seems like the sort of thing. Marvellous. And here we go, my new transplantation. So my zombie's running on basic meat right now. I think we can do a little bit better than that. So, uh, yeah, distill me some better quality flesh. Marvellous. So that's worth, I believe, plus three to the old evasion. So you can now have that. Perfect. Now, I'm also swimming in skulls and blood. So what can I potentially make out of that? One blood diamond for plus one block and a random perk. Okay, not bad. Or... Plus five luck at a random perk. Okay, I think I'll be taking one lucky tooth, actually. That'll do the job. And blood diamonds, uh, go on, I'll have at least one of them too. Obviously, the luck is going over to my archer. So, 20% luck right there, beautiful. And my knight can have plus one block together with a bit of bonus accuracy. Yeah, go on then, why not? So his accuracy just goes up every few turns. Okay, now, now we're fine. Now everything's under control. I'm not failing miserably. It's all okay. Ah, this will do though. In this direction, a grave. Some free basic underlings. That'll do the job right there. Right, team one, head over to this ancient coffin. So we got ourselves, aha, some free stuff I can help myself to. So obviously, yeah, one basic little upgrade to go with a random perk on each of these. Oh, this is actually an even better golden tooth right here, unfortunately. When you strike a critical hit, Eratus gains a 6% chance to acquire extra parts after victory. Well, I do score critical hits with the archer because she's guaranteed to have them. 
Okay, back into a basic fight. And when I say a basic fight, right, there's another cocking golem together with some guy who very much looks like he's wearing armor. Yeah, eight armor, no magical resistance whatsoever. So that's good at the bare minimum. One slave master, stone golem. Armor's only at 15 on this occasion. Are you still doing all the other annoying stuff? Yeah, redirect yourself. But this one can be set on fire by that. Nope, no, it can't. It can't be set on fire. Never mind. Ah, but redirect only works if the golem's in front of them. So it doesn't trigger for anybody who's actually standing in front. Right, okay. This is good. This is very good news indeed. Now, has anyone got really weak sanity or anything? You've got good sanity. These other two guys, not so much. Gotcha. Well, just start buffing up at the rear over there. Just get stronger and stronger and stronger, please. That'll do the job. Now, what are we going to do with you, Mr. Zombie? Now you're back at the field. Ah! I know exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to start firing a ward at that guy. Yeah, that's right. You don't like that, do ya? And here we go. I've got myself a lich here. So I could actually make my lovely Dread Knight ridiculously stronger. That'd certainly be nice. Or I can just start killing my own people, laying down some toxic clouds, or just laying down a massive magical storm. Flippin' love it. Screw it, let's just try a massive magical storm. So it turns out to be you, 35 with a critical, you're already half dead. Ooh, you've got a great big stabby ability. Not that strong though, not that strong. He missed, good, 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 everything's fine. So you can basically just start wailing on this guy. Yeah, he's looking very flimsy. And okay, good. These guys are not as tough as the elites, understandably. What are you doing, by the way? You're just buffing yourself, and now you're protecting the taskmaster. Got it. Don't whip the guard. He's not one of the slaves, you silly bastard. I'm not sure you're even allowed to do that. Still, if he does want to be right on the front line, I'm happy to just set him on fire. Bit of fire never hurt anybody. Right. What are we going to do with you now, Mr. Zombie? Probably best is, yeah, you've got magic attacks we can actually aim. Just keep going for this guy. And sadly, that's a miss. Your accuracy does leave something to be desired. Are you ready for... No, you're not quite ready yet. So in which case... Yeah, I'd say probably you want to just continue buffing yourself until we are ready to do that. Or you could overwatch. 15 to 18 damage every time someone moves isn't even that bad. That's not that bad at all. But no, just buff. Just keep buffing until we're ready to start absolutely flipping slaughtering them. He's going for more stabs. Manageable for the time being. You might try and... Ooh, what have you just done? Ah, that's minus 30% accuracy, isn't it? Yeah, minus 30 accuracy. So, uh, you're going to struggle to hit people for a while. 65% and that's if they've got zero of eight. So, uh, we'll still probably be able to hit him. Yeah, screw it. Just give it a go. You got a two-thirds chance. Well, you fluffed that one, didn't you? Marvellous. Do we just want to lay down terrifying massive stuff? Actually, you know what? The zombie's coming up. Could just massively increase his attack by 20. That would help actually pierce the stone golem. That'd be pretty darn nice, actually. Yes. Screw it. Let's dominate the undead by just actually pushing you forward with a massive flipping buff. That's going to be beautiful. And you're going to buff yourself another step forward. Yeah, he's just stepping forward to provide more defense to everyone else. So, right. I've got a plan right now. My plan is a ridiculously mega buckshot. That's just going to be flipping hilarious. Or, alternatively, oh wow. Okay, with your attack this high, physical attack 200% damage. That's kind of hilarious. So, 68 to 72 damage right there. Not enough to kill this guy, but enough to get pretty damn close. And... It actually pushes him backwards. But I don't want him pushed backwards. Because, yeah, then he'll be behind the golem. It's better we don't do that. How about we just do a massive buckshot? This is just kind of hilarious. So, okay. That was probably a bit of a waste under the circumstances. But, you're now ready for the biggest, most ridiculous rose for a lady I've ever seen. So, oh yeah, you know what? I think I'll take that, actually. That's pretty damn good. Right, it's almost time for the Dark Knight to be back out. So, I'd say dominate the undead. Push him forward with a massive buff. Right, I'm liking the Lich. The Lich is actually pretty darn good. You, whack this guy. His debuff's worn off. Still no one's actually attacked him, so he's still got a block in play. There we go. One block, so we took no damage from that whatsoever. And you want to attack that guy? Luckily, you missed, because you hit pretty hard, and you're trying to escape right now. Good, 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 good. Though, unfortunately, now you're in a bit of a dodgy position. Right, so, uh, Grand Volley, just try to take him out at this point. Put as much magic as we can on him. Does for you, uh, you can't actually do anything right now. Your armor is, uh, your armor's 15. 
So I could just do basic damage with chest piercer. That would actually work just fine. But as it's 50-50, screw it. I'll go for this guy back here and we'll see if we get lucky. Yes, we did indeed get lucky. So the slave master is planning to run away. You're almost dead right now. Then we can turn our attention over here. Shame we couldn't kill him because then, yeah, it would be 50-50 where the magical storm hit. So just go for that. Sadly, it hit the guy who was about to run away. That's a bit of a shame, but what can you do? You may as well just start attacking... You can finish off this guy, actually. Yeah, finish off him. Darn, a redirect. That's unlucky. But at least it did some damage. And this is about to hurt. Yes, golems are really bloody dangerous. You've naffed off. Good, good, good. What else do we have here? Yeah, now just basically keep magic wailing on that guy. That's pretty much what we got right now. You can actually do our rose for a lady. That's a guaranteed finish of you at the back. And that means magical storm has to hit this guy. So now I've got two people who can reliably do some damage. That's good. That's very, very good indeed. In fact, actually, you can do that from... You can do that from the back. So really, I'd like you to move up to position three, if at all possible. But start just doing bone shards, because now it can't not hit that guy. You may as well just wail on him. Yeah, you know what? Do what we can, and the next few magical attacks should do something. Please don't kill this guy. Please don't... Okay, so he's dead, but that's all absolutely fine, because now we're going to kill this guy. <laughs> This game is no flipping joke. So at least now Flames of Love is in range, so we can use Flames of Love to finish him off. Okay, we're down a Dark Knight, but I do still have a Skeleton back at base. And I've got myself another level 3 brain. That's good. I forgot to put the Skeleton into the healing bed. Bloody genius. Ooh, I've got just, just enough material for one more Dark Knight, but after that I'm pretty much out of everything. Okay, I'm running on fumes in terms of the team here, so what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, take a little bit more in terms of magic that I can throw onto the field. So burn my mana, just doing as much damage as I can. Everything's going to come down to me at this point. And by the way, don't forget, I do have a lovely level 3 brain here. Yeah, get you straight up to level 3, please. Okay, I can have a free minion, but it's going to be, yeah, basic level 1 with no special stuff. So it's not always the best, but... It's gonna have to flip and do. Okay, there's no golem here, but there is some form of... Oh, cock, there's some form of big terrifying swordsman. Right, swordsman. Plenty of health, plenty of sanity. No armor, though, despite the fact he's clearly wearing some form of chainmail. But whatever, there's no armor there. Ah, he does start off with uh, one block, one ward. Gotcha. That's not too bad, because yes, additional attack for every buff on target, this skeleton is very good. So that's out the way, then two more attacks, love it. Okay, at the back, you, just start buffing yourself, get ready for some big stuff down the line, please. And oh, these guys are very good at stabbing multiple people. They're in defensive stance right now. Right, what are you going to do? Uh-oh, I've just been marked, what does that mean? Every attack against the target is a critical that's a bit of a problem, actually, yes. You, meanwhile, have critical damage increased by 50%. Right, so if the Swordsman attacks my Dark Knight, my Dark Knight is absolutely boned. These guys are now in a defensive stance, however, so 100% damage taken if I move. I must not move, but if they force me to move, that will double trigger, and I'll be absolutely flipping nailed. Right, well, this is all good stuff right here. Okay, priority is, uh, this guy needs to die pretty darn soon. So, uh, let's just do some, yeah, some lovely bone spears. There we go, bit of damage. And as for you, uh, ward has... Okay, was... Did you not take damage because the ward triggered? I'm not sure. Anyway, dominate the undead. Yes, here we go. He's not going to move because he's already moving. So, that's not going to trigger their stabbiness. But it is going to mean he's going to do a lot of flipping damage. There we go. And... Well done, you cocky genius. Yep, there we go. Guaranteed critical hit and critical bonus damage. So he's already in a bit of trouble right there. Good, good, good. Okay, just head over here. Start wailing. He's still got a buff, so you get three attacks. And one miss, two hits. Okay, are we ready for... We're not ready for anything yet. He's on 39. That would do... Yeah, the basic attack would still only do 24 to 28. It's not enough yet. Keep buffing. Just keep on buffing till we're ready to go. Because I feel like, yeah, Rose for a Lady's gonna... Ouch! Okay, this is starting to hurt, actually. 
These guys are not good. Right, you're naffing off. Good, I think I've just been very lucky because you want to actually go. Yeah, that was a 10% chance. So, uh, very lucky you're naffing off. Only the person at the rear is allowed to flee, by the way. So, whoever's at the rear, they start rolling for how likely it is they're going to try and flee. So, I've just been really damn lucky there. Right, there is a fleeing person and a ward on the field. So, maybe... I don't want to actually use bone shards in case it hits that guy. Then it will be completely pointless. Okay, what else can I do? You know what? Screw it. Bone shards anyway. Okay, that's good. Why are you missing? Well, probably because they've got evasion, John, and you've actually not been investing in accuracy enough. Okay, this is all fine. <laughs> Everything's under control. I do actually have... Oh, bloody hell. I could heal up the Dark Knight using his hunger ability. If I do that, I won't actually be able to use Rose for a Lady. So, don't do that. Please don't miss. Right, okay. We've nearly got that guy down. And that hurts, actually. That really flipping hurts. Right, over to Skeleton. We can start getting you down. What's that, by the way? Repent or die. When this character dies, the Doomsayer and his allies will receive plus 50 vigor and plus 50 sanity. Right. So, this guy needs to be the last to die. Otherwise, problems. And I can't make any move with my Skeleton or he'll be absolutely flipping slaughtered. I could start going for Sanity. That's actually pretty cheap. Shield Banger is not expensive. Yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just start Shield Banging. So all of you, take a bit of a Sanity hit. My Medallion of Insanity might do some good stuff there. By the way, Rose for a Lady's ready to go. Boom. That's good stuff. Down to two. This is fine. Insanity's kicking in. Good, good, good. Hopeless. Hopeless is really good. And we're starting to take some damage now, actually. Okay, Hopeless is, yeah, 50% attack down, luck down to zero, arm and resistance goes away. Yeah, that's really nice. Hopeless is a really damn good one. That's really lucky for me. So, uh, he's actually pretty screwed. We can ignore him for the time being, but actually, no. He needs to go down before this guy, otherwise this guy gets... Oh, bloody hell. You're about to naff off. That's all absolutely fine. Um, Can I actually heal? I could eat this guy. He's probably about to die anyway, but let's try and keep him alive if we can. No, not that guy! That's the one guy to not attack! Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Go for... This guy, because we can't have the repent or die guy die first. I'm really worried about you. You've naffed off. Then it's... Okay, then it moves over to her. We are not... Oh, we're just too shy of Rose for a lady. That's really unfortunate. Um, okay, just go for a chest piercer against you. Should be good damage. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, he's still alive. Bloody hell, how are you still alive? Um, okay, now go for... Ignore armor, that doesn't matter. Go for this guy. Just... No, you can't finish him off. Right, he's got, apparently he's got, oh yeah, he's got good physical armor. Ouch! Okay, this is painful stuff, actually. Okay, um, yeah, just keep using bone shards, and uh, he's dead. That's good right there. Even less sanity. We've got this, but I'm feeling very, very flimsy right now. Right, just hit that guy. That's nice. That's nice right there. Back over to you. This is a guaranteed critical. Is that better? Yes, because critical gets me more parts. So just keep criticaling him. They'll probably have done more damage with a base. Now just go and wail on this guy. One. Oh, it doesn't do much. Please don't kill the Dark Knight right now. Okay, no, we're probably good actually. Okay, the Dark Knight's alive, but he's basically crippled. And uh, I've at least got a decent amount of parts, well, some parts. Everyone's really weak right now. Okay, out to the graveyard here. So, you need to go and hang out in here, as do you, for the time being. That's the best I've got right now. You guys chill out right there. I can make literally nothing but a wraith, and honestly, they're not spectacular, so we're kind of stuck with what we've got. Activate the emergency staff that gives me more rage at the start of the battle. That's the best we got right now. And uh-oh, we've got a quest thing. Right, so we're about to have to make a choice here. So, your hordes grow shambling forward to the Dark Hymn of Necromancy. Oh, that's a lovely way to start off an event. What do you need me to do, by the way? We've got whales coming from the other side of a rock wall. So, potentially, there's a bunch of... Ooh, miners. You could always use some fresh bodies. Is it worth your time to save these poor souls? Have a zombie take care of it for resources. Nothing happens at all. Or dig them out and make them dead. So, 
Give it a go. And uh, we got a success. Okay. That is some good components right there. That's welcome. Okay, we've just got to survive this battle, which is potentially a bit difficult because some people are weak and some people are level one. But then there's a healing fountain. Then we're going to be back up to strength. So please not a golem. Obviously it's a golem. And they've got a magician at the back too. Okay. Start healing up and also set this guy at the front on fire because I feel like it. Because, yes, every time I do that, they start taking sanity damage. You, adore him. Start just basically getting a bit of power going up here. And uh, Sinister Strike, you're going to do some serious damage next time. Okay, everything's fine. I've got plenty of flipping rage ready to go if need be. Go for the golem immediately because he's standard golem, isn't he? Um, yeah, he's got himself 15 armor. Grand volley. Just start wearing him down. Critical at 16. That is not much. You're taking fire damage. Going for... Ouch! The Lich is very vulnerable right now, but he does have multiple wards up. So, he can take a few magical attacks at the bare minimum. Okay. Skeleton. Problem is, he can't really get back to the rear rows at all. So... Basically, just well on this guy. Not sure if being on fire counts as... Ah, no. This is a basic skeleton. He's got no improvements or anything whatsoever. Ah, but he does have an unassuming strike. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. A basic skeleton's actually pretty good against this bastard. That's nice at the bare minimum. May as well start laying down... Yeah, the magic. Just start laying down the magic. Oh, that's what I wanted to hit. Good. Well done. That was a really good lucky draw. And you're about to really punch someone in the face. Okay, everything's fine. That kind of hurts. We're okay for now. I say we're okay. The Lich can't heal himself and is in a lot of trouble. Start flipping Rose for the Ladying. And that did some good stuff to that guy at the back. Okay, we're probably going to just about survive this. Keep magicking that golem, please. Nothing but magic on the golem. And we're going to live. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, unassuming strike. Just punch him in the face, please. I want that golem dead. Magic user. Uh-oh! Okay, so that hits literally everyone. But I think you did more damage to yourself than to me. So thanks for that one. Uh, by the way, more flipping swarms of magic. Okay, we're, we're just alive. We're okay, probably. Uh-oh! No, that's a mess. We're fine. Everything's under control. And please finish him off. Right, so the golem is still... Alive for now. The Lich is just alive. Right, Rose for a Lady. This is going to be a big one. Two kills for the price of one. Well flipping done. And now we can just wail on you. Good, 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 good. You can't do that much to him, surely. I think you've just pushed him. You've pushed him right to the back. Blimey. Well, screw you. I'm coming straight back to the front. I like coming straight back to the front. That's marvellous. Doesn't do much damage, but is good for moving around fast. And this should be a lot. There he goes. Okay, we survived, and now we've got a healing thing. And even better, these guys are back up to strength too. Right, put the backups back over here. They can heal up by themselves. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Mr. Skeleton, you can also be improved to, yeah, get rid of blocks on that made attack. That clumsy big strike's actually pretty damn nice. Okay, at this point, I don't have the materials to create much new, so I'm just going to invest in what I've got. Swapping out their basic components for better ones. More accuracy across the board. This guy can now hit more reliably. And uh, give him plus three attack. Together with, hang on, what else was it? Plus one initiative for two turns, stacks up three times, activates every three turns. Okay, just a bit of extra attack. That's absolutely fine. Other than that, I've uh, not got much, no. Still, I can heal up the Lich immediately. That's all absolutely fine. Move straight on. I've now got an effective fighting force again. It's probably going to be more golems. Yeah, it's going to be more golems. And now they've got an executioner at the back. And he hits really, really cocking hard, actually. Right, Bride, buff yourself. Let's just buff like crazy, please. Buff like flipping crazy. You're at the front line right now. What have we got that we can do here? Okay, you are, yeah, 20 to 26, 150. Let's just get a bit of burning fire on you. And unfortunately, the golem's standing in front of two of them already, which is going to be a bit of a problem. You hit nice and hard these days. That is... Okay, you don't hit that hard. Ah, he's got armor of eight. That's the problem. Okay, let's just start laying down a bit of magic. And, uh, okay, he was the 
Wait, why didn't his ward activate? He had a ward, didn't he? I'm not sure why his ward didn't activate when that was a magical attack, but uh-oh. You've been marked and pulled forward. That's not good. And at least that missed. Right, what's that? 25% more damage. Headsman kills target if it doesn't miss. Oh dear. Right, so basically this guy needs to buff the hell out of his evasion and get the hell out of dodge. Right, skeleton. Get back up to the front, please. Uh, yeah, right up front. Knock that guy back. I've just put the golem right at the front. The golem's now eating 50% of all attacks for literally the entire field. I've just done their job for them. Well done, me. Right, okay. Um, Keep buffing yourself for the time being. All right, just buff, 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 and then rose for a lady. You're trying to escape. Good, 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 good. And you've pushed the... Uh-oh, yeah, that's why executioners are terrifying, by the way. So, uh, he's in a lot of trouble right now. But he's got plus four luck from... I think he's holding, like, a dagger or something that's triggered because he's in position one. So, uh, okay. Probably what we want to do is, uh, yeah, just start wailing on the golem. So, that's, that's all I've got. Don't miss. You need to not miss right now. This is not the time to miss. Um, okay. Who's up next? You could... Aha! Hang on, push him forward, yes, make him better, and then push him right up. Why did you just take damage? Oh, bloody hell, the guy was in a position where he did damage in the event that... Right, okay, everything's under control, everything's fine. This guy is... Uh, he's got more damage because he's been whipped. Oh, this is not good. Still, that's 37. That's pretty decent. You are now in another defensive stance, okay. And, oh, thank God that missed. One person naffed off, though, one person fled. Good, good, good. Okay, so down to three. The team's looking a bit on the wounded side. Still not flipping ready for Rose for a Lady. Keep buffing yourself. When we do fire it, it's going to be flipping amazing. Right, what do I need to do now? Probably I need to... Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. Um, yeah, sudden strike against the golem. Please hit him. There we go. Critical. Good stuff. That's the good stuff right there. Ouch! And the skeleton is just... Oh, no! Uh-oh, that's my front line. And the skeleton's almost dead, too. And, oh, no, if this... Uh-oh! Um, right, I thought we were okay. Then everything went to hell. Um, um, throw all magic. And that did basically nothing. Right, rose for a lady. Activate that. That's doing good work to the Executioner, at least. The Skeleton's basically almost dead at this point. What can I do? 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 Their sanity's too high. If I were to go for... How much health do you have? Right, no armor, 41. But you've got... Ah, you do have one buff. I might be able to finish you off right now. Actually, no. No, I can't. I physically can't, because even if I get 13 three times in a row... It's only 39. It's not enough damage to kill you unless I get a critical. But actually, my luck is at 20%. Because my luck's being raised by that perk. Come on, gods of RNG. One, two. Come on. Oh, flip. It actually worked. It actually flipping worked. He doesn't get his turn because he's dead. And oh, now the golem gets his turn. Okay, but he's missed. We're not dead yet. Do. Uh-oh. Okay. So... She's boned. She's super boned. She is the most boned thing imaginable. Okay, so I do have a magical strike. That's fine. I can't actually use chest piercer anymore because technically she's in position one right now. Okay, all I've got is... Okay, just throw... Throw everything we've got at this guy. It's a tiny bit of damage. It's not much. She's still got a full health bar, which is nice. Um, yeah, put magic into him. We might be able to magic him to death. That's a miss. I mean, her evasion's not terrible. It's not good enough to stand up to a golem, though. Um, keep stabbing with stabby pointy things. Uh, we don't have the... No, I can't use Rose for a lady. That's backline too. Oh, no. If I get really lucky, maybe I can kill the golem. Maybe I can kill the golem with one more attack. Miss! Oh, didn't kill! Please miss! 
And yes, miss. We can take out the golem. We can take out the golem. We're going to survive. Well, okay. We're going to survive the golem. You're gone. Okay. Please, miss. Please keep missing. Keep missing. Keep missing. Just keep missing. He didn't miss. No. Okay. So they're, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead now. Okay. Maybe I should have played on easy mode. Uh-oh. What's left? Wasn't there like some stuff in the... Oh, good. You guys, you're not actually at full strength because of course you're not. Okay, I can have one level one bride and one mummy or a second bride. Screw it, two brides. Hello, I'm back and I've brought friends. If he actually kills one of my people now, this is going to be really embarrassing. But no, I think we're fine. And now, yeah, go over to Flames of Love. Because, yeah, magical attack. He has some armor, but nothing else. So just keep on with the grand volley. Okay, we've got past him. We've cleared out the last of that lot. That's good. And we've got an ancient coffin too. Sweet. So that gives us a plus one ward or when debuffing plus four vigor. It's not so bad. That's not terrible for... You know what? That's not terrible at all for... No, that's position one only. Okay. Or accuracy up. Oh, none of these are great, to be honest. But I guess I'll take accuracy and then give it to the zombie. That's given me just enough for one Dark Knight. Okay. So one basic Dark Knight, who I can get straight up to level three. That's lovely. Together with what's left at that point. Okay. Unfortunately, just more flipping Brides of Eratus, which would probably be overkill, I'd say. Right, so in which case, uh, a mummy is now on the second line. Not convinced that's a good idea, but it's going to have to do. By the way, have I mentioned that we're actually almost at the final boss and there's no more healing fountains between me and there? Because that's a thing. Though, to be honest, I'm not convinced that's going to be a problem we're going to face. Because, um, yeah, there's yet more cocky golems. What are you, by the way? Oh, good, a demolition expert. I look forward to being exploded by you. Not much health, though, and no armor. Right, okay, just lay down. Of course you're redirecting. Of course you cocking are. Right, start burning him down. You're in position to start using your flame abilities at the bare minimum. You are stabbing him. You'll be able to stand up for the time being. And, okay, how's your sanity? It's not terrible, it's not great either. Yeah, see if we can get this guy's sanity down, because below 85%, there is a chance of insanity because of the insanity medallion. Oh dear! Right, so I see the problem with um, the explosives experts. Gotcha. Doing a lot of damage there. Right, Mr. Mummy, remind me, I can do some curses on the front line. Further back, I can pull people forward, or I can advance slightly in order to do a fairly modest stress attack. But hits two people. Okay, not so bad. Remove all debuffs by falling back as well. So yeah, he's relatively mobile. He can move around pretty easily. Or a hex beam, which is not much. But if the mummy's debuffed, it does extra. This is all a bit on the situational side, to be honest. But um, okay, I guess we'll just do curse touch on you. Because yeah, we're lacking options. Ideally, he needs to... No, he doesn't need to fall back. Oh, this is... This is a scruffy team. And also, the golem's just going to totally grind me into the dirt. But maybe we can burn him to death before that happens. And... Right. Unfortunately, the splash damage is doing really good stuff. You just start... Yep, doing that. That's doing... Something. Not much, but something. Uh-oh. I'm guessing he's more powerful next turn. Also, the mummy's taking some, like, casualties... We're okay for the time being. Just, what are you doing, by the way? Skips a turn, then explodes at the beginning of the next turn, killing himself and the nearest two characters to the left. Can't be cancelled. So if I don't kill him in two turns, he's going to take out my entire front line. Okay, so, magic then. Start just stabbing him with some bone spears or whatever. Now just start hitting him with literally everything we've got. He needs to go down, like, now. And if he were to go mad... Okay, if he were to go mad, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Together with... Hang on, what's this? Amplified curses, massive stress, and one stress for every negative luck the target has. Which can actually be quite significant, but... Kind of feels not that useful, because... If they've actually got massively reduced luck, then they're probably pretty screwed already. Uh-oh. Are you moving forward right now? I'm guessing you're... Yes, you're moving forward. Good, good. Good, good, good. Everything's fine. 
Um, right, get some criticals. We need that guy to start dying. Like, now. Yep, just keep attacking him. Hope for a critical. 21. And I think he's still got one turn to go. Oh, this is... This is not good. And, right, so that was 15,000 damage. Okay, so now I'm boned. You're insane, though. Hopeless is good. You're about to... Right, so she just got stamped into the dirt. Um, and now you're going to struggle to to do anything. Okay, use all the magic I've got to just stab this guy. And then desperately try and do, yep, everything to weaken him. Because what are we going to have left after this point? Oh, he's about to suicide bomb as well. That's, that's good. Honestly, you didn't need to. You could have just attacked me or just, yeah, punched me in the face. That'd be fine too. Actually, if he explodes himself in two turns, that means he's not here when I come back. So in many ways, this is actually fine. And he exploded sooner than I was expecting. Okay, so that's, that's everybody dead. I literally can't raise anyone right now. So back out over here. I've now got one half strength skeleton and one half strength zombie. Well, it's been fun. Die for me, you magnificent bastards. Die for me. Okay, continue setting everything on fire. Because skeletons can do some good work. And actually, so can zombies. Maybe, just maybe, we can take out this guy with magic and the great big unassuming strike. Yeah, actually, we're making some progress here. He's in defensive stance, so that's good. And then you are going to immediately miss. Good. Right, more assuming strikes. Come on. We can actually... Oh, flip. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it to the boss? We're going to make it to the flipping boss. Right, that one's dead. He's just actually stancing right now. So, therefore, he's not doing anything. And he's trying to flee. Good. Good, good, good. Right, just stab him. Stab him with everything we've got. Get him out of here. Set him on fire. Yeah, igniting mixture. That'll do. Now you're on fire, you stupid bastard. Now just stab him a bit. Good, 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 good. Let's just get rid of him. And hopefully he's about to naff off. And he goes. Right, we've won. We're flipping one. And I've got myself some materials. Think very carefully about what I need here. And honestly, it's... It's got to be a dark knight. That's the only chance I've got. And actually, blue armor does give him plus two attack, plus four evasion. So that's nice. That's nice at the bare minimum. And uh, we can get him straight up to level three. Hang on, was there anything else I could theoretically? No, there's no other combination that works. So, uh, right. Everything's, everything's fine. Everything's under control. By the way, you're level three now. And I do have two skill points. Mocking slap. If the enemy's on fire... Bonus damage. Yes, there we go. That, that gives me a chance. So I can use, oh, my mana is running low. My mana is running really low, actually. And, ooh, apparently I could go round to the, no, I can't actually sacrifice minions. <laughs> to the boss, flip it, let's go. And we have got ourselves a bunch of little slaves together with, please don't kill me before I get to attack. That's going to be embarrassing. Together with the key master. No armor, but 390 hit points. 420 sanity. Right, so uh, that's going to be good. You at the back. Yeah, just go into uh, your bombardment stance, please. Just try and bombard. As for you, uh, what else have we got here? Redirect ally, 33% chance. Ah, I see. Rather than actually stepping up and eating attacks, he actually deflects attacks onto other people. Okay, let's actually get that down. And Wait, was this 30? No, 22. We're going to... He had a ward up. Right. Didn't notice that. That's good. Okay, yes, just um, begin the bombardment. We're all going to die very soon, so it's fine. And yep, yeah, there's... Oh, you're just hanging on. And you're still just hanging on, bloody hell. Right, just run forward. Run forward and do whatever you can. Just start wailing on them. Let's take down at least one if that's at all possible. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Right, he jangles his keys. Uh, and that is a plus three attack for literally everyone. Right, he's promising freedom to them if they actually win. So that's... Honestly, you didn't need to. I think they're going to win. You're going to regret it, mate. Now you're just going to lose some slaves. And at the bare minimum... Okay. The Dark Knight can take this. He's about to do a Sinister Strike next turn. And the skeleton's gone. Okay. In comes the fire. Doing some good work right there. Took two block off him. Right, what else do I have right now? 
Basically nothing. Right, buckshot into all of them. Let's just take at least one of them out. There we go. We killed somebody. I'm going to consider this a victory because we've killed... Ouch! Not only does that hurt, he's just stunned me. Okay, start healing up, special ability, and there we go. Back up to full strength. That's not bad. 26, ouch. And you're in trouble too. Just holding on. Okay, everything's fine. He's He skips turn, and then you fire a crossbow through both of us. Right, he's dead. Down to the Dread Knights. This is, this is not good. Three corpses with one bolt. Actually, it was only two, but whatever. Um, okay. Keep trying to heal with special abilities. There we go. I'm not dead yet. I'm going to be momentarily, but... Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to flipping die. And now it's his turn. Are you just going to stack at me straight away? No. You're just going to jangle your keys and make them even flipping stronger. Try and take out one more. You missed. Right. Well, that's not a good way to end. That's just an embarrassing ending to my attempt to be a necromancer. Right there. And, um... I'm afraid that's kind of it, actually. Yep, there we go. Made it to the first boss, then absolutely flipping slaughtered. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Aratus, Lord of the Dead. And I will say, I've had a really nice time with it. This is one of those games which I plan to just sit down with very briefly and then found myself playing for quite a few hours. So that's always a good sign. Needs a bit of work, needs a bit of polish. But for an early access game that's still got some work to be done, yeah, it's looking solid. I like the balance of components. Now you can turn them into items or better components or more and more warriors. So you've got a choice of loads of teams you can substitute out if you take damage or alternatively a small number of elite teams or teams with lots of items. Or of course you can raise more basic units, go outside to the graveyard, get more building set up, give yourselves more magic, more rage, all of that good stuff. So yeah, there's a load of different ways to approach it, which I always appreciate. There's no one single obvious way that is the optimal strategy. So a lot I like here, awful lot I like. Might well keep an eye on this one. When it actually comes out of early access in full, we'll definitely give it another look there. Might well do a live stream or something in the meantime. I'll keep an eye on how the video does. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. So there's been many a true nut. And this has been Aratus, Lord of the Dead. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.